Welcome to this episode of Upcycling with Deb. I'm your host, Deb Colometta. I can be reached on Instagram and Twitter at Deb Colometta or find me on the website, thedebsite.com. It's wedding season and love is in the air. I've talked about this in my book, Best Offer, Best Life. Wedding registries can become a source of joy or a source of stress for a couple. It's very important to start your married life on the right track. You want to make sure that you get the stuff that you need and the stuff that you want. Nothing more, nothing less. Even the act of registering for gifts can be exhilarating. Running through the aisles of your favorite store with a scanning gun, picking out everything you want, like being on the prices right, scanning here, beeping there. You're both adding to your list. But if you're not careful, it can be the start of a junk collection. I recently talked with Julia, a friend of mine who's getting married in a few months, and she was telling me about all the amazing features on her bridal registry. I think this is really going to help couples start their married life together with one up on the junk war. A few weeks ago, I had so much fun talking with Julia about her upcoming wedding that I decided to invite her onto the show so that she could share with you so many of the resources available to the modern bride. So I'm very excited because today we have a real life actual bride to be, Julia, and she is going to help us navigate the modern world of wedding registries. Welcome, Julia. Thank you so much for having me on. It's fabulous to see you. Oh, great to see you too. Thank you for being here. Um, so Julia was actually over my house with her fiance a few weeks ago, and she was telling me about her wedding registry. And I was absolutely fascinated by the technology that she was talking about. And Julia had some great ideas for making wedding registries accessible for guests, talking about how she came up with some of the items. Tell me a little bit about your registry. What service are you using to manage your registry? When we first started, kind of we got engaged and all of that kind of settled down a little bit. Um, then it was sort of, well, now we need to start figuring out, you know, when and where and our registry and, and all that kind of stuff. And um, what I really found through kind of my research on it was that there were sort of two main players on the scene that kind of offered um, what I'll describe as, I guess, more of an integrated registry. Um, first being Zola. Um, which I'm sure a lot of people have seen commercials on TV and um, if you're searching anything within the wedding world, um, they absolutely show up. Uh, and the other, which is a little bit more local, but still something I think a lot of brides sort of overall use is The Knot. Um, they're awesome. They originally started, I believe, as a magazine company um, for like wedding bridal magazines and have kind of moved into this new kind of technology platform offering space. Um, so we actually ended up going with Zola. Um, one of the reasons was it was a little bit more, I think, uh, user friendly was what we found. It was a little easier to navigate for us. Um, and everything was so seamless. Their support um, people have been, we've used them a couple times so far and have been so helpful. So um, once we kind of decided on which platform, um, they make it super easy. You can create a, an account, put your email in um, and a password. And uh, basically they say, you know, this is kind of everything you have at your fingertips. And the first step we took was kind of building that website, right? So um, you know, a lot of things have been moving away from kind of that paper trail, if you will. Um, there, we didn't actually send out RSVP cards. Um, so everything is done on the website. So you have your registry, your RSVP, you can have information about the wedding schedules, etc. kind of all in one place. Um, the other thing to note about Zola, one thing we really liked was the ability to um, use a domain domain name that was kind of our own. So what's difficult, I think, in this sort of transition from not previously having much tech that's involved in the bridal world to having, you know, something that's completely on, you know, a website platform is that there's definitely a little bit of, I think, a learning curve for some people. The ability to at least make even the URL that we direct people to instead of, you know, 
zola.com slash jules and will slash one two three five eight um, to be able to say just go to jules and will.com um, and so for us i think that was really helpful in kind of making it a little easier for people to be able to go on and see our registry and, and i will say creating the actual registry itself has been um, really fun i love the whole process of it as i was um, saying before but it's um, something that i think in the past right you you got your little scanner gun and you went to one or three stores that you kind of really liked like a crate and barrel and, and that kind of stuff and now what's really great about the online registries is you can get not only um, you know specific stuff that Zola has across the board from different brands different stores etc um, but also if you wanted something that was let's say on Amazon or you know something that they maybe didn't have and you wanted a particular you know speaker system or something um, you're able to link that in so that it shows up kind of on the face of your registry and directs your guests to that website to purchase it and so you can kind of manage it all within this one Zola registry but yet have you know items not only that Zola offers but then also kind of anywhere your heart can can think of on the website so well, one of the things that I loved, and first of all, I loved that it was an easy domain. And that was the first thing that I thought as a guest, wow, they went all out. They bought a domain name. I mean, I have a couple of domain names and you have to purchase them. It's, yeah. It can be kind of a pain in the neck. So yeah. right off the bat, my first impression was this is off to a great start. And the other thing was I didn't even have to run and get to save the date because I already knew it in my mind. I remembered the website because it was easy to remember. Yeah. So I plugged it in. And I saw a huge assortment of wedding gift items at all price points. And I loved, I, I have never seen this before on a, a bridal registry and I've looked at a ton. I loved that you were able to highlight your favorite gift, what you wanted yeah. most of all. You want to make sure that um, you're getting what you want to fill your space with items that you need. How can we possibly guess that? And I love that you were able to put on there a honeymoon fund. Um, I have a lot of gifts that if you look at all of the wedding gifts that I've gotten, a lot of money had been tied up in those gifts. We had very generous guests. And I think they would have been just as happy to contribute to a honeymoon fund or, mm -hmm. um, and it's easy, you know, people can use a credit card instead of cash. I like to push people to use cash whenever possible, but um, you know, you're able to contribute easily. And that's right. your first impression for the guests. You're making it accessible. You're making it easy. You're giving all the details in one place. Um, and then another thing I liked was I didn't actually know that Zola was kind of managing that domain and that site. I was like, wow, they really seamlessly integrated both the registry and their wedding website. It's a one-stop shop. Um, and I want to also mention that we don't have any kind of affiliation with Zola. This is just no <laughs> experience. Um, but I loved it as a guest because I got all the information, the lodging, the hotel details, which I hadn't even thought about looking into yet. But yeah. just by going to the registry, you can't not see it. So it's, right. it's really, really a great thing. So right. tell me um, if ha I know <laughs> the first thing people do, myself included, when they hear people are getting married as they start to dole out like wedding prep advice. So um, I apologize that I talked to you for about an hour straight about <laughs> <laughs> different things that Ray and I did. Um, but what's some wedding registry advice that people have given you? You know, you want to have items that guests want to give you, you know, serving wear, stuff like that is still something that I think people really enjoy giving. Um, and so that's been kind of one piece of advice that originally we kind of put, you know, only maybe the bare minimum or, you know, the things that we maybe really particularly wanted for ourselves um, and our home. But, you know, maybe that wouldn't be so enjoyable for a guest to give. Having items that people can say, well, you know, at Thanksgiving when she pulls out, you know, her, you know, serving bowl or these spoons that we got her. Um, I think people really like to be involved that way. You don't necessarily want to put things on there just to have them on there either, right? So if you are not going to use something or even thinking about what kind of kitchen space you have um, or where you're currently living or where you plan to be living, um, it can be, you know, 
helpful to have reminders from people that say, you know, make sure, do you actually have room for that? And are you actually going to use it um, instead of kind of just putting a bunch of things on there? Cause you're like, well, that would be, you know, great someday to have, um, you know, we don't need an ice cream maker. And so that's kind of, <laughs> you know, where um, that balance has been helpful to have people kind of give advice, not having too many kind of disparate items that don't really make sense together. Um, I think also encourages people to buy more than one thing. Um, so, you know, if you have a serving set and then kind of matching, let's say, uh, you know, serving ware, spoons and forks and things like that, you know, people would be more apt to want to get those together than kind of, you know, just buy one thing. When I was getting gifts for my wedding many ages ago, <laughs> I remember to this day who gave me which item. So every yeah. time I take out my little pie scooper, I know my friend gave me that. Um, mm -hmm. Every time I take out my serving ware, I know what platters came from what person because I was really grateful to get these beautiful items. I also noticed on the website um, that you are able to exchange a gift. So if you put it on there and you're like, mm, you know what, what were we thinking? But somebody kind of snapped it up and bought it for you. You can either return it or exchange it without them even knowing. You can yeah. also stagger the delivery time. I love that idea of being able to, to kind of hold it in cyberspace for a little while until things calm down. Um, and you might even have literally stuff planning your wedding, you know, invitations or physical things like centerpieces or whatnot might be in your house at the moment. And once that's, once the wedding has happened, then you can maybe start to receive the gifts or it just seems so flexible that you're able to apply it. That was one thing that we really had to give a lot of consideration to which stores could we register in where it would be easy to make some returns because you will get duplicates. Yeah. And the nice thing about that too is we were a little nervous, you know, we're going to have to make sure we write down originally what everyone gave us. Um, and the really amazing thing about Zola is they keep track of what people originally purchased for you. We're able to appropriately thank our guests for being so generous, even if kind of our minds change about where we want to go in the direction of the gift. So um, that I really, really loved. Um, and as well, kind of, again, that, that integrative, um, you know, experience with, you know, being able to have everything kind of in one place. All of the features here, like we haven't paid one dime for. It's free and literally you just need an account. So um, that's been really helpful as well because, uh, you know, it also lets us spend money on our wedding where we really want to and be able to still offer this option to our guests to have that kind of seamless process. And it's win-win because they make money off the items that people purchase. And then you don't, neither side, there's no transactional fee. I think it's free shipping on most of the items. Yeah. Um, so I, this is like the way to go. This is the, the registry of the future. And I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's fabulous. I recommend it to everybody that I, I talk to who's considering getting married. Well, also another nice thing, you know, you were mentioning that, um, th the guests can reply using the website. And I love that that's environmentally conscious. And from a planning perspective, wow, you don't have any um, uh, errors in when you do data entry, if you're like keeping a spreadsheet of who wants what, you don't have to like then transcribe that. So you're yeah. streamlining the process in addition to being environmentally conscious. And if you've got bridesmaids or groomsmen who are all over the country or want to participate in some way, or, you know, if, um, you're in different locations, you can all see the same information rather than, okay, let's get together and go through the reply cards today. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to do that unless it's their own yeah. wedding. <laughs> So, um, so that's, that's a wonderful thing to just kind of being environmentally conscious. And as, as we kind of move on to kind of more of the tech space in general, um, you know, and as well, I think general sort of wedding trends have been um, really to pare down, look to more maybe intimate or realistic things. You know, we don't have any fine china <laughs> on our registry um, and that's for a reason. We don't need it. There's definitely a shift in, in what is on a registry, but at the same time, you know, as a guest, I'm sure you don't want to have two little options. It is a fun process and we hopefully only have to do it once. So, <laughs> you know, you want to make sure that it's um, 
kind of done right the first time. And, and I've really enjoyed kind of the whole process of it. What you were saying about paring down. And I just remember the whole process um, back when Ray and I were registering was it was really, really stressful. And you would have to go in at a certain time. They'd have these, you know, before the store opens, you'd go there with your fiance and you'd get the registry gun, you'd get the rundown, you might get a little free gift or some champagne and cheese. And then by the end of it, you're both sweating because <laughs> you're like <laughs> running around the store and you're like, oh my gosh, you like that place setting with the big leaves on it? Oh, am I really making the right decision marrying you? Could I ever love someone who likes that pattern? You know, so you're like way overthinking it. And the other thing is we all know that phenomenon. I'm not going to pick on Target because I absolutely love Target, but we all know that when you go into Target for paper towels, you come out sometimes with a cart full of stuff that you maybe don't really need. And it's the same way with a wedding registry. When you walk in and you have some ideas of what you want, but then they start selling you, which is their primary job. They start selling you on things you could potentially in the future want. And then you scan it, you end up with it. And then six months later, if you're lucky enough to get it, you're stuck with it. So it's like you you're doing it in a more careful way. You're curating your list so that you've got the right items on it rather than just walking in and being like all very overwhelmed and stressed and um, maybe a little upset and you're starting to scan things. And this just seems like ah, the way to go. Just do it online. You don't want it to cause stress. It's supposed to be a fun process. Um, you can take a break. And it's not like you're like, well, we drove all this way to the store. You know, we're both in our PJs and we say, let's take a breather, grab a snack, and we can circle back to it. Um, and so that's definitely helped hopefully curb some of that, um, you know, stress that can come up with, with wedding planning as well. And I remember it, it was such a big deal that we could go online and tinker with our registry after the fact. That was like the big technology was that, you know, we could scan all these things and then at the end of the day, swap them around. It, but it's come leaps and bounds since then. And I had no idea that this kind of technology was out there and available. And I'm betting a lot of my peers don't know it. I'm, I'm sure that, you know, young folks like you <laughs> are more <laughs> used to it, but old fogies like me um, aren't aware of this stuff. So I just wanted to, to sh share this information. I'm so grateful that you were able to take the time to, to help and sh share this information with brides-to-be and um, really want to thank you for doing that. Thank you so much for having me. It's been wonderful as always. Well, I'm really looking forward to your wedding. I can't wait. We're so excited. It's going to be a perfect day, just like you guys are the perfect couple. My name is Deb Colometta. You can reach me on Instagram and Twitter at Deb Colometta. Thank you so much for giving me your most valuable asset, which is your time. Remember to follow me and subscribe to Upcycling with Deb. And we'll be back next time with more tips, tricks, and hacks on how you can start living your best life.